Hello friends, I'm Tom from Chico Media, and a couple of years ago, I had all my clothes stolen. So a couple of years ago, I went on pilgrimage with my family to Italy, and we spent the first week in Rome, and then the second week visiting other places. My expectations were really high, um, because when you make a pilgrimage, you're really making an effort to show devotion to God by physically going to a significant place. Um, so I went fully expecting to have a great time and have all my prayers answered and everything to be okay, because after all, I was doing something really good. The first week was amazing. Uh, we had the most glorious weather. Uh, we visited many beautiful places in Rome and in the Vatican City. And we even saw Pope Benedict twice. Uh, once at the general audience, but then the second time on the feast of St. Peter and Paul at the Papal Mass, where we ended up with basically front row seats. It was really amazing to be so close. Um, the Sunday was the day we were going to leave Rome to go on to Assisi, and so we packed up all of our things in the car, and we drove to the Basilica of St. Paul for Mass, and we returned to the car afterwards, only to find it had been broken into and most of our things were gone. I At first I just couldn't believe it. Um, I would brought some of my nicest, newest clothes in order to come to Rome and see the Pope and everything. I hadn't even worn some of them yet. Um, on top of that, I, was, I didn't realise I was going to have to wear the same set of clothes for the whole next week which I really, really didn't want to do because the temperature was consistently above 30 degrees. And I just felt that it wasn't fair. I was in mass. How could my clothes get stolen while I was in mass in Rome? Why would God let this happen to me? Um, but after that initial couple, couple of minutes panic, um, I just stopped myself and re kind of reassessed everything. And actually, I didn't have that much to worry about. I was still alive and well. Our passports hadn't been taken. The car was still there. The car was still working. I had just had one of the most amazing weeks of my life. So really I had not that much to complain about. And once I realized this, I was really, really relieved. Um, and I was just able to thank God for all the good things that happened and just keep on going despite the loss of all my clothes. Um, but it didn't end there. Things just kept getting better. Um, we were all still feeling a bit down when we arrived in Assisi. But then we realised we were actually in a state that St Francis would probably have really approved of. Um, but also we were staying in a guest house run by the Bridgetine nuns in Assisi. Um, and they were fantastic. We needed a bit of cheering up and we were delighted to see large, large platefuls of hot pasta at dinner time. But it got better. That was the starter. Uh, the main course was chicken and chips. Honestly, go to Assisi, stay with the Bridgetines, they're amazing and it's an amazing place. Um, after that I felt much better about everything and it's really helped me to be less materialistic and properly focus on what matters. So I still need to work on it a bit. Um, but yeah, it was it was amazing. It was really, really good, despite everything, and I'm definitely going back. Um, that's all for now, but come back next week. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down there, and subscribe. Bye.